Alrighty. So now we got the power of two rangs. Instead of one. Alright, twice the damage, twice the fun. Well, what I mean to say is twice the firepower. What? Oh, does it say twice the damage? I don't mean that. Hey, I'm Paisanos, this is Tin Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. So in the last part, we finished up two up. I had to go back for one single solitary opal and one more golden cog. It just took me a little bit longer to complete than I expected. But anyway, let us venture on to the next portal. Alright, so we got ourselves... The only thing standing between us and those two portals is a gate of barbed wire and a wooden fence. Never try saying open sesame. Hey, it worked! <laughs> yeah, not really. It opens by itself after you clear two up. Okay, well, looks like we've uh, wandered into, like, uh, the, the residence or the kind of mini community of where the. whoever runs the Bly Bly station, I guess. Alrighty, so, let's take a walk in the park. In the rainforest, with the big, bad, tough park. Nah, he's friendly. Oh, smell that fresh rainforest there. See the cute wallabies. Surf the slippery water slide. Watch out for those leeches. Oh, great leeches. Now we gotta deal with those blood-sucking parasites as well as another Thunder Egg excursion. Okay, welcome to the rainforest. Where you feel wet and dry at the same time, because it's so humid you'll sweat yourself fresh out of... out of sweat, out of... And you'll just feel dehydrated, and yet the rain will constantly keep you hydrated. It's just... It's just a never-ending cycle. Okay. Our first golden cog right at the starting point. Beautiful. Alright. I always like it. <laughs> Lighting with boomerangs. There's just... I, I just there's just so many details that I never paid attention to as a kid and looking back on this game as an adult it really is it really is something all right so let's see what more he has to say G'day, Ty. our good friend Shazza can get herself into a pickle sometimes this time that truck has broken down at the end of the forest road you but if that isn't bad enough I spotted some blue tongue lizards nearby. You reckon you can give her a hand? Shoot bet, I'm on my way. Alright, uh, Denzel in distress mission. Alright. Follow the trail of opals through this expensive rainforest, and at the end of the forest road we'll find Ty's girlfriends. Uh, yeah, I looked it up. Uh, apparently, uh, it's not it's not only her his good friend; it's also his girlfriend, I guess. But well, maybe they're just starting off in the friend zone, and by the end of the game, they're they're in girlfriend boyfriend status. But anyway, second golden cog. Let's see. Alrighty, so yeah, this rainforest is basically a maze. But, uh, we'll find our way through somehow, so. Okay. Before we take the high road, let's explore the low road. I, oh, well, not yet, so we have to take the high road first. First we take the high road, then we take the low road. That, that's how the song goes. Okay. All right, another one bites the dust. Okay, 
Okay, shiny red stones galore. And dead reptiles galore as well. Alrighty. Well, what's more you have to say this time? Here's some free advice. Certain enemies deflect gerangs with their thick skins, but are hopeless against those pearly whites of yours. <laughs> so sometimes you have to bite the bad guy. Alrighty, so. Alright, so crunch on a beetle. <laughs> Super ultra mega sized beetle. Remind me never to move to Australia where everything is astronomically huge, especially the spiders. If there's one thing I hate more than spiders, it's big spiders. Back up, man. Munch, munch, munch. Okay, so, I think, uh, maybe once we're here we can drop back down and explore the lower level. Alright. Taking lessons from Timon and Pumbaa. It's going for the crunchy type of bugs. He would prefer the cream filled kind. Ooh, the little cream filled kind. Alrighty, so I think here we should just drop down. Okay. Nope, oh, there's our first Bilby. Huh. <laughs> I like how I just kind of. Jimmy's himself dry, so. That's what can't be done in a place as humid as this, but whatever. Alrighty. Okay, that's not what I meant. Okay, so. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay, we skipped right onto the girl Bilby. I guess, uh, the Bilbies are strewn out for far and wide here. So far and wide that, uh, they got the order confused. Okay, so. Here we got this giant flower. Feel inclined to just step on it? And it'll just spew you back out and just launch you skyward. Yeah, exactly. They're called those in Australia, so. Okay, what's at the top of this mound? Got anything else to show, or...? Okay, so I could've... If I remember correctly, there should be at least one golden cog down here, but it probably... It's probably not... Not... Not right. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, there's the third Bilby. Alright, it's our mate from the opening cinematic, yet again. Okay, so, so yeah, it's the same uh, group of five bilbies, they're just in different areas. Alright, let's see where this flower will spit us out to, well, just up top. Okay. I also love this background music. It's very chill and it's really has an 
has a Aussie vibe to it. And a little electric guitar doesn't hurt either. Okay, well, I guess uh, the two bilbies down there were basically all we could find, so... Okay, well, sweet! We've got free three bilbies thus far. So, the last two should be further along the path. Here's a, here's a gold cog. Okay, so... What are we doing with the cogs? Oh, yes. A shallow lake, a perfect frog type of environment. Just don't go licking them. You don't know if they're poisonous or not. Listen, Ty, before you tackle this water slide, there are a few things you need to know. You can speed up and duck under the logs by pressing the bite button. And you can slow down by pulling back on the movement stick. Okay, so... I'm going to surf some water slime just forward when you got your own two feet. Alright, surf's up, brah. and easy. Okay. Okay. Glorious. Okay, so where we got Ranger Ken, the Tasmanian Devil. But unlike Taz, he's actually... Whoa! Ah! Off! Get off! Oh. oh, I didn't think that... That's right, the leeches. The leeches. More important is about the leeches. Oh. Dreaded. Okay, so anyway, let's talk to Ranger Ken. He's just viewing the environment through his binoculars. He sees an old mate of his. G'day, Cobber. <sighs> G'day, Ranger Ken. I need a favor, mate. There's a flock of cave bats in there. Cave bats? It's nearly the wet season, and we need to move them out before the caves flood. No worries. Wait, this, this is this isn't the wet season. <laughs> if this is the dry season, I hate to imagine what the wet season would be like. <laughs> well, I mean, the caves will flood, so that's yeah, mud, mud, glorious mud. Except it's anything but glorious. Alrighty, so just hop along the stone trail. Just okay. So reach outside. Okay, so we're halfway done with the opals. Okay, that's not the only reason why we're here. Up on this log. Oh! It wasn't high enough. Okay. 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 Thunder Egg Ahoy! Ah! The camera kind of works a little bit too well in this. Okay. All right. Another one of those glorious gears. 
Gears of Gold. Yeah, I mean, uh, the term Golden Gears... I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not really sure if the term cogs is a re. I, I, you're, you're t we typically just call them gears, but I guess certain people can call them cogs. It's kind of uh, well, never mind. All right, movie number four: the wife. Okay, so I think I got the Bilby family all figured out. The first one's the father, the first one, the second one's the mother, the third one's the, the, the son, the fourth one's the daughter, and the fifth one's the granny. Okay. Alright, just walk back along this path. Ranger can. Alright, well, I suppose while we're in here, I may as well introduce you to the invisible crates. And looking back, I completely neglected to collect even a single one and two up, so I'm gonna have to go back there and do it all over again. Whoa! Darn boy! All right. Okay, so you see this red right here with the bluish outline? You break that and you'll get a piece of concept art. Okay, so there's a certain number of crates per area. It varies from area to area. There's a special type of rang that you can get. You get 45 golden cogs, which is going to take a little bit to, to gather. But enough about that. Let's round these bats up. Alrighty. There they go. Flying. Flying towards me. Oh. Careful. Want to get rid of Let's hope they're not rabid. Okay, lead them out. Lead them. Bonza move of a of a not I wouldn't call it extermination. It's just more like vacate the a bat vacation, just kind of vacating the caves, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we got another. Wait, okay, so you can you can actually find these boxes without the infrared, but the infrared makes it much easier. There was a path. I actually, um, I think I may have missed it somewhere back. Yeah, I think I might have. Uh... I'll probably go for it in the next parts, but uh... but anyway, well. We'll just continue onwards, just for a little bit longer. I think once we conquer this stretch of stretch of rushing water, we can we can stop for for a little bit. Oh, this this path splits. Okay, so we're gonna have to 
Come back around. Okay. Yeah, that's just typical. Okay. Uh oh. Man, he's got serious serpent skills right there. I mean, I'd probably just be lying on my butt, just sliding all the way down at this point. The instant I just stepped on that rushing water rapids. <laughs> okay. Alright, while we're at the bottom... Well... Uh, I'll probably, uh... Yeah, I'll probably, uh, go for... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, well... I think we'll... We'll call it quits for... Quits for now. So... We'll continue on in the next parts for Walk in the Park. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time! And... <laughs> Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, this is Toon Gamer 23 signing out. And I love you. <laughs> Let me just take care of these. these nuisances. They just turn them to jelly.